this video, we will walk you through how to create a manual campaign. Once you've logged into the Walmart Ad Center, click on the Campaigns tab and select Create New Campaign in the top right hand corner. Select Manual Bidding. This option gives you greater transparency and control as it allows you to select and target individual keywords and products. Select Next and input your desired campaign name. Please note, there are no restrictions on the name, but we recommend choosing a standard naming convention per campaign type. Next, select your date range. You can set a monthly date range or select run indefinitely from start date. If you select today as your start date, then your campaign will start running within the hour. Enter a total budget, daily budget, or both. Total budget represents the most you will spend for the campaign. As sponsor products is a cost per click, you will only be charged when a customer clicks on your ad. The final campaign spent may be equal to or less than the total budget, but will never exceed it. The total budget must be $100 or greater. If setting only a total budget, your campaign will spend this amount as quickly as possible. Daily budget. This represents the most you will spend each day of the campaign. As your account will be charged per ad click, daily spend may vary. The daily budget must be $50 or greater and cannot exceed your total budget you entered. If your campaign does not spend all of the daily budget, the unused amount will be rolled over to the next day, but daily spend will never exceed two times the daily budget. For example, if you have a daily budget of $100 and spend $50, the daily budget for the following day will be $150. Please note, if you create a campaign with only a total budget, you will not be able to add a daily budget once that campaign goes live. Similarly, if you create a campaign with only a daily budget, you will not be able to add a total budget once that campaign goes live. Once you've entered in the campaign name, your start dates, budgets, now it's time to select whether you want to be included in the search carousel as a placement to bid on and add an optional bid multiplier. The placement inclusion section will provide you with the option to promote your items on search carousel ads for the keywords you're bidding on in addition to search and grid. By default, the search carousel placement is toggled on for all newly created campaigns and the search and grid placement cannot be toggled off. Bid multipliers give you additional options to optimize your advertising campaigns. This bidding feature helps you manage your sponsor product campaigns by enabling you to promote your products on prime placements and platforms. Please refer to the bid multiplier video to learn more and how. After you've selected your campaign name, your start dates, budget, added an optional placement inclusion and bid multiplier, it's now time to create your ad groups. Select add new ad group and enter in your ad group name. Few things to call out. Each campaign must have at least one ad group. Each ad group can have a maximum of 2,000 items. Your bidding strategy is determined at the keyword and match type level. You will be able to enable and disable an ad group after the campaign has gone live. And create ad groups for products with similar attributes and related keywords. Include no more than 50 to 100 products per ad group and keep them as tightly knit as possible so all products can be found via search for those keywords. Now let's walk through how to upload your products, add keywords, select match types, and add bids. Navigate over to the content section. You can upload your products in various ways. You can upload a CSV file. You can search for items by item ID, or search for items by product name, keywords, or brand name. Next, add your keywords you want to bid on in the keyword section. Please refer to the keyword match type video to learn more. In this adjusted keywords tab, you will be presented with a maximum of 220 keywords. That's 10 keywords per page, which are most relevant to the items you've added to the content section. The keywords are populated and ordered based on relevancy to the items you've added to your campaign. Once you've assigned a CPC value to any of the match types, press the Add button, and the keyword will be moved to the Bidded section. 
and will no longer appear in the suggested keyword section. In the additional keywords tab, you will have the ability to add your own keywords to target. You can use this section to add and bid on keywords that were not available in the suggested keyword section, top performing keywords from other platforms, seasonal keywords, and long tail keywords. You can add additional keywords in two ways, through the text box using one keyword per line and up to 100 keywords at a time, or through a CSV file upload. When using the additional keywords tab, there are a few things to consider. 80 characters max per keyword, and this includes spaces. Full string of special character keywords are not allowed. So example, if your keyword is a explanation, number sign, percentage sign, at sign, dollar sign. Our system will convert all your keywords into normalized keywords. For example, if you add gift cards, gift cards with a Z and gift cards spelled G-Y-F-T, the keyword will be normalized to gift card. Once you've added your additional keywords, your keywords will be normalized. For each keyword, place your CPC bids or update your bids for each match type. Click the add button and your additional keywords will be added to the bidded keywords tab. In the bidded keywords tab, you will be able to review and update all the keywords you have added from the suggested keywords tab and additional keywords. Note, a maximum of a thousand keywords and match type combination are allowed per ad group. When using the bidded keywords tab, there are a few things to consider. If you like to update a CPC value from this section, you will need to enter the CPC value and click on the floppy disk icon next to the CPC value to add it. If you're entering a new CPC value to a match type that didn't previously have a value, you will enter the value and press the plus icon. If you'd like to disable a match type, click on the toggle next to the CPC value and it will change to gray. Save your ad group and start your campaign. After saving your ad group settings, you will be taken back to the campaign section where you can schedule your campaign to go live or finish later. The finish later button saves your campaign as a draft. To learn about automatic campaigns, please refer to the automatic campaign video.